this recording will be a little bit less uh, UI oriented in explaining the running of the test as we saw in the previous video um, tests from JMeter can be run from the JMeter UI but if we go into a real uh, stress testing load testing scenarios it's usually um, not recommended to run JMeter in uh, UI mode because it influences the test itself also in a heavy load testing uh, we usually have a m multiple servers running the tests and JMeter is perfect for that because it has a server client mode we can have a multiple servers running tests and reporting back to a client and this client then collects the data saves the data and reports the data and even that client should be run in the command line mode. So the perfect scenario is to run multiple JMeter servers, single client, collect data in a file or a database, and then use a reporting tool to display this data from database. And one way of doing that is also to build a Kubernetes cluster, which can have multiple nodes or in this case that I'll be describing here, it has a single node cluster using Minikube and four uh, pods on that cluster that run separate parts of this testing. Uh, this scenario has a couple of steps for setting up the infrastructure and then another set of steps uh, for running these tests. So in setting up the infrastructure, we used stock Grafana Docker image and also stock uh, InfluxDB image. InfluxDB is used for collecting uh, the results of tests and Grafana is used for displaying these tests. And then we have a two uh, custom built Docker containers. Uh, one JMeter server container and we could have multiple uh, instances of that one and a single JMeter client which connects to this service. Uh, everything is built using uh, descriptive JAML files for uh, building this deployment. And as we see, this deployment then creates four pods for JMeter's client and server, Grafana and Influx. And we expose also one service and Grafana is exposed so that we can access the reports. So when the infrastructure is set up, we can switch to this uh, Minikube environment. And we see there's a bunch of Docker containers running see what are the deployments. This is the same as we can see here in Kubernetes console, but there's Grafana, Influx, JMeter client one and one server. So Minikube is running locally and in that Minikube we run uh, these containers. So these deployments created these pods and we can also check for services. So we see that we have one node port service, Grafana, which is exposed to a mini cube to this port. So 32108, we also have to check what's the address of mini cube. So it's this IP and this port to access Grafana. Yes, this is Grafana running in Kubernetes, providing the reporting. So I already created uh, a temp based on template from JMeter, Grafana dashboard. And this Grafana dashboard is connected to a results database, which is InfluxDB. So all the results are co collected in InfluxDB 
and display it in this Grafana dashboard. And if we check for the tests in the last five minutes, you see there's no results. But how to run the tests? Uh, while connecting to this uh, container, of course, we execute the shell command in the container and we'll connect to this spot. And while this pod is built on Alpine Linux, it only has sh, no bash. Okay, now you see we're in a container. And you see there are a couple of already existing JMX files. These are JMeter tests. And in previous video, we used this MQTT JMX file uh, tests, which connect to uh, our provided Kapua environment, so we'll use that one. This command will actually run JMeter in uh, headless mode, so to run in terminal, uh, and we specify here the MQTT JMX as a test scenario, and we have to specify also a couple of options for setting up this, where's the database, where's the MQTT, and so on. Because test is parameterized, uh, it needs this data from a command line. So different environments can have different settings. Or if you have more servers, you can specify more servers. Okay, we have now InfluxDB. This is the internal cluster address of the image with the InfluxDB. Then we have MQTT host, which is our exposed IP of um, MQTT host, MQTT port, uh, API local host, which is for accessing the count on the uh, records in the tests, and API port. And the last one, this, was in, this one is important to specify the cluster address of this, MQ, uh, of this Kubernetes cluster, where the server or multiple servers specified in a line the tests are being executed remotely, connecting to a remote engine. Tests are executed right now. Maybe we'll catch them in... Uh, uh -huh, we see here, this one client is active. So the tests are being run similarly as they were in a JMeter UI. Brief overview of the test execution is given and the test is finished. So we see basic data about the tests, how many errors, there was two errors, so not something went wrong, probably the count again, and that's it. All the data was collected in that in, uh, InfluxDB. So let's check our Grafana. This Grafana is connected to this InfluxDB and it should report the success or failure and the response times of these tests. We can see that there were errors. That this is the percentage of errors, errors per second, and total hits, 600 requests were made. Um, then we have some reporting and uh, average response time and split into a different uh, parts of our tests. For example, um, BERT request, you see that it takes two seconds, so it might be there, something that we can tweak about. Uh, this uh, disconnect message is real fast. And the MQTT request, which sending the data, it's like one millisecond. So altogether, the results are pretty good. Um, can also check the trans transactions for second. This this dashboard is actually built by JMeter. I mean the community, so it's actually reused here for testing purposes. So uh, other reports could e easily be added based on the data that it's stored in this InfluxDB as part of the uh, reporting. Just import the template. It's available in JSON format from uh, JMeter. And you also have to specify the data source. Data source is InfluxDB data source. And if we check the settings, it's, as you can see here, as this is run in Kubernetes, 
this is internal address and the port of the database and we named uh, jmeter db because jmeter db is also used in this template uh, for grafana dashboard in case of kubernetes it would really be easy to scale this like creating multiple jmeter servers and just specifying their internal addresses while running the tests in in a client like just adding specifying multiple servers also this could be automated using a variable scripts and so on so all the tests could actually also be run automatically or run in a jobs like cron job